Hello and welcome to another haul. So I have not been terrible with buying books this year. I have controlled myself slightly, but since my birthday I have bought nine books. So from April to October, nine books is pretty decent in my opinion for somebody who has like a book buying addiction. Pretty good. One of them I didn't actually buy. I got it from my friend. He didn't want it. Um, so let's get straight into the books because I don't have anything else. <laughs> so starting with fantasy, I first have the fourth and the... Okay. So when I bought this, I didn't realize that this book is in this book because I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. I love this author, so I don't mind paying for both books. Um, I'm keeping them. I don't care. But this book, if you want to read these, it is in this. It's like the first half of this book. I'm just stupid. But these are the fourth or 4.5 books of the Fairview Fairy Tales series by Macy Aurora. I love this series. I have already read these. I got them as ARCs, which I'm very grateful for because I love them. Um, I'm very excited for the last book, I think, which comes out, I think, early next year. The whole series is about a group of siblings. There are four or five siblings, I have forgotten, but the first book follows Ori, who is the middle sister, and we follow her getting into a magical romance with a god called Nyx. In the second book, we follow the second eldest sister, who is Tarly, and she falls in love with a prince, but she doesn't know he's a prince. In the third book, um, we follow Brynna, who is, I think, the youngest, and she falls in love with the other god that is the sibling to the first god, um, and they fall in love through dreams. And then in this fourth, or 4.5, I don't even know, in these two books, we follow novellas, and there are three. One follows the parents of the the girls and the brother that they have. We follow the parents. In the second novella, we follow Brynna and the god from the third book. And in the last novella, we follow the two characters from the first book. If you are interested in the series, these two are... These two. This book is necessary because it answers a lot of questions with the first story. So I recommend it. I love the first story. That's why... This is the first story, which is in the shadow of a vow about the parents. I loved it, so I, that's why I don't mind having it separately, because I love it. The next fantasy book I have is The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. Um, the hype train for this has long since died, but I haven't read it yet. And all that I remember about this is that it's about somebody who finds a book who talks about going into other worlds or places through doors. That's all I remember. Everyone loved this, so I'm so I want to read it. And the last two fantasy books that I've bought since April are the first and second books of I don't remember what the series is called, but it's Hooked and Scarred by Emily McIntyre, and they are retellings based on Disney stories. So this is Peter Pan, and this is The Lion King, I think. I don't even remember. But Book Talk went very crazy for this. I think the first one mostly. And I was interested when I read about it, and I have now bought them. Um, I don't remember exactly what they're about, just that they're retellings, and I love retellings. And I think they're romantic -y, so... Exciting. Next, I only bought one mystery thriller book, which is Home Before Dark by Riley Sager. And all that I remember about this is that it's about a woman who goes to live in a haunted house, and she doesn't believe in ghosts, but her father wrote a story based on that house, and slowly she starts to believe in ghosts because of the house. Something like that. I loved the previous book that I read by Riley Sager, which is The Last Time I Lied, so I'm very excited to get into this, because hopefully I will like it as well. And the last category that I have is romance books, which I have three. The first one is the one that I got from my friend, and it is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren, one of my favorite authors. And all that I remember about this is that it is a second chance romance, and we follow them before and in present time, and that's all that I remember, but I'm excited. Next is another book that I've also already read, which is Heartstopper Volume 5 by Alice Oseman. I think everyone at this point knows what Heartstopper is about, but if you haven't heard of this, it is about two boys falling in love with each other. One, who is Charlie, is gay openly, and then we follow Nick, who is discovering his sexuality, and they fall in love, and we follow them going through life at the ripe age of 16 to 17 to 18. 
yeah, and this is the fifth volume. The sixth is coming out next year, and I think that's the last volume. And the last book that I have for this haul is Business or Pleasure by Rachel Lynn Solomon. And this follows a ghostwriter and the guy who needs the book to be written, but they know each other from before as the worst one night stand ever. So they strike a deal where she, during the, during the day, she writes the book, but during the night, they teach each other how to be better in bed, something like that. It sounded very fun and interesting to me, so that's why I bought it. And I loved a book that I've read by this author before, which is See You Yesterday, so I'm very excited for this. It sounds like a great time. But these are all the books that I've bought since April. I didn't go too aggressive on it, so I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm very excited about all of them. They all sound very exciting, and I mostly know what they're about, so... Yay me. But that is everything for today and I'll see you in my next word video. Bye!